episode of the Adeptus Ridiculous Podcast. My name is DK Diamantes, my co-host is Bricky, and we're going to be learning about some real ridiculous shit from Warhammer 40k today. But before we do, if you enjoyed today's episode, head on over to the Patreon at patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous. You can get access to the Discord, bloopers when they happen, extra shenanigans, uh, really really nice HD posters. Uh, the new one has nothing to do with abs, but ooh, what a lucky guardsman. Um, so yeah, patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous, and Bricky will tell you all about the merch, the book, and any other pertinent things. Yeah, Bricky. Yeah, Bricky. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, tell Bricky. Them. Tell them about the merch, Bricky. You know what? May All right. The merch, Orchidate.com. Check it out. Merch. Got stuff. Shirts, hoodies, stickers, etc. Dice all in the description. Orchidate.com. Hit that up. Also, do not forget that the book club we have is Krieg by Steve Lyons. That will be in the... Uh, the review will be early April. So you got a little bit left to finish up the book. Uh, and so far, is uh, pretty stassy, I would say. Yeah, and, great. uh Am I am I missing anything? It's just those two, uh, right? I don't think so. Eventually, we'll be doing the contest winners, but I'm not sure when that video is scheduled for. But yeah, I think I, yeah. I, I think it, I think you hit all the you checked all the boxes as it were. Yeah, we we did a uh, we did a stream where we looked over all of our night submissions, uh, which will be that stream will be cut down a little bit, but it will be uploaded just so you can everyone can get their uh, little time in the sun. Mm -hmm. um but we'll actually have another video for the top 10 later on so we'll be doing yeah. that all Man, right we had a lot of really good uh uh um entries in that contest it my my voice is still is still shot from that for four hours <laughs> of raiding nights yeah. it was it was good and tons of amazing entries but yeah it was a it was a bit of a stream this is four hours. Four hours. Four hours of raiding nights. And now oh. this episode will clearly be another four hours. So your voice is going to be absolutely Chris Kringled. Oh, by the dude, time, my uh, this is done. My voice was so Chris Kringled after the thing yesterday. I took a <laughs> nap, and then my buddies were like, "Hey, who wants to go out drinking?" And I'm like, "No, I haven't been out with my buddies in a while. Oh, no. I'll, I'll do that." <laughs> So we went we went out drinking and until like two a.m. and then mm. and then on the way home we we played Nuclear by Mike Oldfield from Metal Gear Solid Five. Wow! <laughs> and then and, was... in the in the car on the way home and we just fucking screamed the lyrics at the top of our lungs. And the I'm, worst and I'm, thing I'm, you could do after a four hour stream, you go ahead and do it. I I'm I'm feeling the pain right now. I I'm I'm operating on light sleep and. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling it oh man all right well you know what let's get into it then let's, let's I think, do this I think we shit. should let's <laughs> my uh my actually it might be pertinent for our topic as my raspy voice might make this a little bit easier to read so mm. are, you, are you ready for a genuinely actually probably not that hard oh wait i just read the quote again this is absolutely not going to be hard it's Oh, okay. Well, okay. You've said that before, and I've still fucked it up. So no, this this I'm giving you a lot of. I'm not giving you any credit on this one. This is easy. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Forget no insults, my sons, as I have never forgotten those of my father, of the emperor, nor those of Horus. Forgive no slight or grievance. Hold your bitterness deep within, and there let it fester. Let it roil and squirm and churn until you are so filled with bile, so poisonous, that all you touch falls to ruin. Thus shall you serve Nurgle best. Thus shall you spread his virulent gifts across the false imperium and watch its final rotting. Wow. Uh, before you said Nurgle, I was like, oh yeah, this definitely sounds like some Nurgle Death Guard shit. Um, yeah, bile yeah. And, and yeah. Yep, and don't don't forget what the Emperor Dunn did. Um, if oh, um, did we already do an episode on? Uh, oh shit, what's his name? He's got like the swarm of bugs that are like so thick. It looks like a. It looks like solid matter. Um, oh, okay, that's typhus. 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 Um, but I, I, you're overthinking this heavily. Oh. 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 
Um, so it's 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 it's, it's Nurgle, obviously. It, okay, it, now you're underthinking this. It can't just be like we we we've done a Nurgle episode. I, and, it's, and, it's, not, and, it's not a Nurgle. Now you're underthinking it. We we've talked about the Death Guard. We've talked about Mortarian. Well, we talked about Mortarian. Yeah. We haven't done a, We haven't done a dedicated death. We haven't done a dedicated Death Guard episode. We haven't. Remember, remember Wait, I how we, we were, did one with like Pat? Wasn't that we did? But that was like mainly about Mortarian. You know, it's like remember how we're supposed to do Primark plus thing? That was oh, see, before I, oh, we started no. doing that. In my head, I thought like we did an episode on Mortarian, and then the episode with Pat was on the Death Guard. No, we have oh. done one episode on the Death Guard, and that was with Pat. Oh, I played myself. I, I played yeah, myself. I am very sad that this was not immediately picked up. I mean, with, can can I basically get a win on that? Well, that's that's for all yeah. intents and purposes. I I was on the right track, you know. Was, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're fine. You you yeah. you were there, but you were you were confuzzled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hooray, yeah, I yeah, win! Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that sounds like, that sounds kind like, of. that was a very good fry statement right there. <laughs> um, which, I get by the way, all the, the time I sound like fry. The quote that I read is by Mortarian, so, you know, it's, it's it there. Sense, yeah. I was but, like, that quote's yes. either Mortarian or, 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 or Typhus, but yeah. Yeah, Typhus the Traveler. But um no 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 this is just a little Death Guard episode like an overview Death Guard talk about Death Guard a little a little bit more on the on the sub parts of the Legion how it's broken up the weapons they use their doctrine yada 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 mm -hmm. the classic mm -hmm. cool. the classic Death Guard stuff that we're figuring out because um they're because Death Guard are pretty fucking cool they're really cool I'm actually interested to see what kind of weapons they use because like whenever I see like their models or artwork of them all of their weapons look like really rusty and like they wouldn't really do that much damage it looks like they're just gonna like fall apart from like um not being up kept very well so I'm kind of interested to see what kind of shenanigans their weapons pull off yeah, I mean, a lot of their weaponry isn't particularly fancy. It's just normally there's some pestilence on it or some crap. Yeah, yeah. To, for a refresher, for, for a refresher for you and the peeps, the Death Guard are the 14th Legion, as that is seven times two, because the sacred number of Nurgle is seven. Uh -huh. And their Primarch is of is Mortarian, and they hailed from the world of Barbarous, which was a horrifying, disgusting, <laughs> toxic world where he was had a foster father who was a shitlord. And he mm -hmm. couldn't he wanted to kill his foster father, and he couldn't, and the Emperor did it instead, and he never really forgave him for it. Yep, he got the he got the daddy kill steal. He got the kill steal, and he's been very upset for a while because of that. Mm -hmm. um, also, I'm glad we're doing Death Guard because they recently caught some very undeserved nerfs in the tabletop for no fucking reason. So, oh, really? I mean, sucks, I could kind of see is so that. Dope. Well, I wonder no, no, if I could kind of see that. Undeserved nerfs. They did not deserve it. Uh, okay. Just because I remember... Uh everybody used to play the death guard and like whenever so like whenever you would like uh tell me about the way some tournament went it was always like oh yeah death guard won mortarian's invincible you can't beat mortarian they're too good and uh i remember for a while they were like a meta problem weren't they uh i don't think they were ever a meta problem but they they were very good it's just as codexes have come out people have been getting better and better and better and have been ah. reaching the same level Death Guard has been getting, and then randomly Death Guard got nerfed just recently, and I'm like, wait, what? Ooh. Like they like like the balance had finally restored itself, and then you pushed it too far in the other direction. Gotcha. Okay, it's so everyone was finally equal, and they were like, oh, you were up here too long, Death Guard scrunch. Well, not quite. Death 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 Guard was like a really great like S tier army. I mean S tier, but like A plus, and it slowly went to like A A minus. B plus as things were getting better and better, and then they got nerfed for no reason. So it's a little Ooh, bit dumb. But that sucks. despite all of that, um, it's a good thing we're talking about Death Guard. Uh, of course, Mortarian and Typhus. A reminder: Typhus decided to, in in being an absolute fucker, <laughs> sabotage or mess up the way uh, they were traveling to 
go deal with um, the Horse Heresy and stuff, and they got sent directly into Nurgle's clutches, mm -hmm. and his entire Legion was getting just horribly fucked up, like yep. rotted and then rebirthed and rotted and rebirthed and like never ending pain. And Nurgle was like, hey, Mortarian, my man, let's go, hey, you know, give me your soul and, <laughs> and pledge your allegiance and it'll stop. I'll stop the pain. You know, I'm pretty good at that. I'm Nurgle, hey. Hey, I'm I'm apparently Italian also. Uh, Lorgar is my buddy. Hey, I was gonna um, say, when did he become a word bearer? Yeah, I, I, word bearers turns out were actually the real Nurgles the whole time because they don't sleep or <laughs> hey, or, I'm or bathe. I'm gonna infest you with pestilence and pox, baby. Baby, hey, baby. Uh, <laughs> the um, and so uh, obviously they all became Nurgleized. Mortarian became uh, the demon Primarch Mortarian, which is just a big motherfucker he's so cool he's, a, he's, <laughs> he's so, so cool, cool. oh my god his mini is so dope holy shit no, mi mini in mini quotes. that's a air mini. quotes mini <laughs> like the and, tau manta is a mini oh my god uh, a thing. <laughs> it's a table it, it is half a table yeah you play and warhammer then, on top of the manta and uh, and then after that, of course, Typhus got the best reward. He became Lord of the Destroyer Hive, which is the mm -hmm. giant thing of wasps looking coming out of his back. Mm -hmm. And uh, Typhus got his good shit. So after the heresy, they fled, um, as all things did, into the Eye of Terror. And now he is in a plague planet, currently residing in the warp. It is a gigantic plague uh, planet of pox and pestilence and death where he sits atop the highest peak where his foster father used to sit on Barbarus. Ooh. Because, uh, you know, because he finally gets to sit where he wants, you know, like on, yeah. the, on the top where because he, he can handle the toxins. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's more Tarion that's sitting at the top, right? Or is... Yeah. Do, okay. Um. So the, the planet is just a swirling mass of pox and disease and... And it's a giant blech. green planet of fuckery, yeah. Mm. I mean, I guess it makes sense. That's where the Death Guard would be. That's where they'd call home. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. If, if, if anyone was going to be, like, that's that's the Death Guard planet, right? Sure. And so, uh, as of recently, when uh, he was just kind of chilling there for a bit, doing what's doing whatever, Typhus was kind of the big man when it came to fucking up the Imperium. I, I know... If I'm not mistaken, Typhus and Mortarian, particularly Mortarian, does not like Typhus one bit. Yeah, because um, because uh, Typhus did all that Nurgle fuckery without Mortarian's knowing, right? Like he did it kind of behind his back, didn't he? Yeah, they they kind of hate each other, mm. and but Mortarian's still big man in charge. Uh, so with the complete reopening of the Great Rift uh, after Cadia fell, because so for a while, uh, Typhus and Mortarian, despite hating each other. Typhus, like, Mortarian's like, all right, like, you can go do whatever the fuck you want out there, but the moment I call you back, like, you come back. So Typhus okay. is like, like, whatever, dude. Sure, man. And then Typhus <laughs> goes out and decides to uh, take his ship, the Terminus Est, the the literal flying tumor, yeah, and goes out course. and... Mm. Nasty ass thing, and he just goes yeah. out, and he absolutely, you know, just wreaks havoc when he can. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, a side note: uh, Typhus's prior armor looks really dope. He's the guy on the left. Whoa, was that? I, I'm assuming, obviously, that's pre, um, pre death. Yeah, guard, pre, pre, pre guard. Oh yeah. wow, he looks so much cooler pre heresy. Well, I don't know about that. He looks pretty cool post heresy too, but he in a does. different it's a different way. Yeah, yeah. He looks like a badass like Dark Knight. Oh yeah, a little bit. I see yeah. that. Yeah. He um, got a bit of a beer belly uh when he went uh, when he got nergatized though. Well, a lot of the Nurgle stuff are very yeah. heavy, overweight looking. That's like the morbid yeah. obesity. That's part of the thing. Yeah, because they're um, bloated with disease. Because bloated and stuff, exactly. Yeah. Um, but despite all that, uh, once the Great Rift opened after the fall of Cadia, Mortarian is now leading uh, to the, from the front, basically. Mm -hmm. He has now taken upon himself to start bleeding the Imperium again after the Eye of Terra's uh, reawakening because, well, I mean, he is again. He can. Yeah, sure. I mean, you know? there's nothing stopping him. There's, I mean, it's got to be a really bad time for the Imperium once Cadia fell and the Eye just split open. Like, it's, oof, 
I, things I, have gotten I, really bad. He he yeah. is he is on he is there now, and he is he is like a demon Primarch has reemerged now. Like that's really bad. And he's basically yeah. fighting um, Gilliman the most right now. It's kind of like the two going on. Uh, oh, okay. But but yeah, he's he's wrecking some shit. Particularly, he's fucking up some Necrons too while he's at it. Really? Yeah, he's created some kind of blight that like eats into Necron tech and fucking uh, tomb stuff, and he's like. He's like paved over four tomb worlds. Oh, that is a heavy hit to the Necrons. If you're, ooh, boy. Yeah, it's it's some. I don't know exactly the name of it. My my, my mind says it's maybe the Ferric Blight. I don't remember exactly what it's called. I, I really don't remember the name. But yeah, he's he is currently like eating shit up and. Mortarian is not fucking around. He's been chilling on his high tower for a while. And he's finally back to cause issues. Damn. That's true, because we haven't talked a whole lot about what's happened after the fall of Cadia. And now that, like, the eye is just split the fuck open and chaos is just spewing out. We haven't really talked a whole lot about that, have we? We talked amazingly about, like, what Gilliman's been up to. Because he's kind of yeah. the, the the protagonist in this in this whole post-Cadia situation. But at the same time, it's also like, hmm, it's, I don't know, it's also kind of just this, I, I don't, I feel like GW hasn't really talked about it much in a weird way. Really? Like th this, this split the world in, in two and the, like there's stories about it and stuff, but it always feels like it's not the overarching situation going on and how to fix it. Or, or maybe I just haven't read those. I, I could just be wrong, but it doesn't seem like it's been that way. Yeah, that's so weird because that's such an important thing to happen. Like, that's such a big deal that you would think it was the focal point of everything after it happened would just be, oh, fuck, chaos. And I think it is, but it's like, because 8th edition launched with the fall of Cadia post. 8th edition launched with the new Mortarian and uh, all those kinds of boxes, right? And mm. you had the you had the Magnus stuff going on as well with his big model, and that's kind of when that started. And that's why in ninth edition it kind of became like a Necron thing with the Silent King's return and all that. That's why we have so much Necron stuff going on right now. Okay. Um, but there is still plenty of it going on. I just maybe I think we're just not reading it as much. Oh, okay. Um, at least I, I think so. Uh, oh. It's it's weird. I feel like there's some parts they're skimming over, but it might just be me. Anyway. Mm. Um, the Death Guard now, of course, uh, as the Death Guard fights, the Death Guard way of, of fighting, well, back in the day, they used to be known as the Dusk Raiders. And the Ooh, Dusk Raiders cool. were known as that uh, back on Barbarous because they would attack their foes at nightfall. Yeah, Dusk, okay. Dusk Raiders, you know. Dusk Raiders, sure, standard. sure. Yeah, makes um, sense. And so for a while, they, uh, after Mortarian kind of arrived and after, well, and especially after the Death Guardiness of the Nurgalizing of them, Nurgatize me, Captain. Nurgatize me, Captain. Um, their combat doctrine became a little different. It became I, the concept of just like pure relentlessness. Like mm. their weapons were not fancy, but they always functioned. They didn't try to outmaneuver the enemy. They just kind of stood their ground and waited for a, a crack in the enemy's forces and then kind of pushed through. They right. just, they're stubborn as shit. Any <laughs> environment, they're okay to fight in. Any death world, any toxic this or that, they are, they are remorseless and slow, but they love attrition and, and entrenchment and just, just this very like methodical, slow walking forward moving force that just will not die yeah that makes that makes sense like because when you when you look at like the death guard they're like these big hulking sort of bulbous like titans so you wouldn't imagine that they're gonna like really like speed up and you know go fast and and it's just yeah it's it's like a slow moving disease walking towards you um, and they soften you up with disease too. Like, oh yeah. Honestly, yeah. honestly, I feel like the Death Guard would not be very effective just completely on their own, slowly walking forward. I mean, they're good. I mean, they're yeah. still freaking chaos space marines, like Nurgalized, but they also often soften up their enemies with their pestilence and disease. Like, can you imagine 
if you are just fighting an enemy and the entire like, Imperial Guard and every guardsman is just like violently throwing up uh. or or like like their eyes are watering and their skin is chafing and they have like massive diarrhea like their bodies are just shutting Ima imagine just fighting an entire f uh, enemy force that has the flu but like uh. times three you know like yeah that's a, that's a great way to soften up your enemy that's for that's for sure not Ooh. to mention they have the walking pox which is literally zombies so you can root oh, yeah. them out from the inside yeah, they literally have pox walkers. That's a that's a legit unit that uh, Nurgle has, right? Yep, the pox, pox walkers. Walker. Yeah, literal zombies. But like, like it's really hard to operate perfectly when you are that sick, and then you know people are dying just from disease as much as they're dying from guns. Not, yeah. And not to mention like all the way they spread the disease between like the destroyer hives, those those little bugs and wasps that bite you mm -hmm. and spread the illness, and then nurglings are running at you being being silly and stuff and <laughs> like there's a lot of that and in fact it's actually kind of cool there's a lot of various uh contagions you can use in game to like have like various types of illness the main one death guard gets is that um uh if you are in melee with them your toughness is lowered because you're like sick and, and, sick. and like being yeah. uh but their radius of that grows with the time of the game because the plague oh. is spreading that's cool. So, so turn one, it's only if you're in melee. But then it's like, I think it's like three inches after that. And then like six inches from a character. And then like nine inches. So as the game uh, goes, the, the poison spreads. Oh, that's really cool. I, I, I love the idea of an in-game mechanic that makes it spread like like disease and poison. That's really cool. It's, it's super fun. It is a really awesome concept. But man, um, that sucks. I, I can't even imagine like trying to fight the Death Guard and you're just overcome with disease and sickness and you're just like, oh man, this is awful. And then the Death Guard actually make it up to you and you actually have to fight like a Chaos Space Marine, an actual Death Guard. And it's just like, you're fucked. Yeah, you're like, so they're, fucked. Not, <laughs> they're not like the most effective of all the Marine Legions. Like they're not, they're not the phalanxes of like, the Dark Angels, or the or the the sheer speed and ferocity of like the White Scars, so like that, or the the hate of like the Blood Angels, but they don't need to be yeah, because they, really don't. they don't they don't die. You keep <laughs> trying to hit them, and they don't feel it. Like you have an enemy that literally doesn't feel pain. Yeah, and they're just oh, and they're so bulky anyway. They're so tanky that it. Mm. Like, if you somehow make it past their armor, you have their incredibly hardened flesh. And then getting yep. through that flesh is hard enough as this, because you blow a guy in half and he's still crawling towards you. Like, they they have no pain. Yep. They just keep going. I don't know. I imagine, like, for some reason, when I think of, like, trying to fight a Death Guard, like, you know how they always have those weird mouths everywhere? I always imagine that, uh, have you ever seen The Thing? Oh God, yeah. When he where the where the to, stomach opens up and, they, and he, it eats his fist or something, and I'm just yep, like, oh, yep. that's probably what it's like fighting a Death Guard. I hate yep. it. Yeah, or you get or you get eaten by giant like plague drones, which are just enormous wasps, and yep. like, uh, it's it's awful. Oh, it's terrible. um. So the Death Guard are actually split up into plague companies. There are seven of them because, of course, there are. Of course. Um, and each plague company has its own thing, and actually, you can play as these plague companies in game as well uh, they really. have different like be benefits and stuff so the first one the first plague company is known as the harbingers and the harbingers ah. is ruled over by typhus himself okay. this is including his uh, ship the terminus est and its entire ranks are just filled filled with hundreds of strains of the zombie plague Hundreds huh. and hundreds. Shamble rot, the groaning, biters pox. Mm -hmm. Like, Typhus is all about pox walkers. Gotcha. He loves his pox walkers. He just, he just will, will go to a world, zombify the whole fucking thing, and go to the next. <laughs> well, I guess that makes sense for them being called the Harbingers, because they sort of... They're the harbingers of destruction. Uh, then they zombify it, and then it's just easy pickings for everybody else in the death guard yeah you play it like a virus you know it's like it's like it's, yeah. it's like if it's like if we had a zombie apocalypse walking dead style and then aliens invaded like we got softened up so hard yep yep 
Damn, that's that's dirty. That sucks. Yeah. That's yeah, a, that's, it, I mean, that's it, that's great war strategy though. Like that's that's a good strategy. I mean, hey, the pain will go away if you embrace Nurgle. Yeah, that's part of it too, because like this whole planet not only becomes this, but this whole planet is now new forces for the Death Guard. Yeah, uh, as as Shai so elo eloquently put it, you can always ask Nurgle to spare you the pain and get down with the sickness. Mm. Get down with the sickness. Wow. Yeah. That was pretty good. That was actually that Thanks. that was solid. Thanks. Thanks. I practiced yeah, a lot in my angsty teenage years. The uh, uh the zombie virus. Harbinger should be the most effective on on the in the US because no one wears their fucking masks. Yeah. We we yeah. got we got to amend the the statement to uh, avoid it like the plague because nobody wants to avoid the plague apparently. I do dude, dude, I'm going to I'm going to make my own plague. It's going to be like it's going to target only only not muscular women and then my <laughs> the entire world will be buff chicks and me and paradise. i win and i win <laughs> paradise i'm the winner here i have mm. i have the big brain ideas yeah that's 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 a good one i'm i'm just I'm call me typhus <laughs> just call wow. me typhus because i'm a piece of shit <laughs> And you smell. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so the second plague company is the uh, the ferric blight. Ooh. And the uh, the ferric blight is mainly about mechanized assaults. So mm -hmm. giant formations of tanks uh, and the warriors themselves wear the something called the ferric. Oh wait, I think I mentioned this earlier. The ferric blight. Yeah. Which uh, speckles their armor and vehicles with a crawling rust. The ferric blight is a is a moving living rust. Ooh. So as the vehicles are are covered in it, as are the company, when they get to enemy stuff, like their shit will rust and break and degrade very oh, quickly. Wow, that's that's so OP. It's it's very very strong. Wow, I think that's what they did to the Necrons, which is yeah, why wow. their stuff is like breaking. Yeah, I mean that makes sense because the Necrons are just all machinery. There are, I mean, I mean, it's, I guess it's a different kind of metal. It's like, it's like the living metal shit, but still, like, yeah, that 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 fucked the Necrons up. Also, like the the stages of uh the way the Death Guard invade are crazy. Like, first you've gotten zombified, and if you have a fighting force left. Then this blight comes around. It rusts and destroys all of your tech. You are so fucked. Yeah, it, it's they don't need to be the most powerful fighting force in terms of combat because they've got everything else. <laughs> yeah, you almost don't even need chaos space marines. They like all of their blights and shit just wreck everything so hard that who cares what your other fighting force is like? You've zombified and rusted all their technology. Like, holy shit. Not to, not to mention, like, these are going at regular-ass planets. Like, the planetary governors are a bunch of rich-ass aristocrats. They don't want to pretend like there's anything going down. So they're, yeah. they're always like, ah, oh, it's just some new infection. Ah, it'll, it'll, it'll sort itself out. Like, oh my god, zombies are at my door. <laughs> Damn. Um, the third plague company is known as Mortarian's Anvil. And this is particularly excels in digging in and letting like enemy foes run at them and die. Oh, so it's okay. like like a giant spiked shield in a weird way. Mm -hmm. uh, they have something called the gloaming bloat, which is a plague of a plague of fever sweats that slicks their armor and cause them to speak in wet gurgles. Ew. Um, they, it's known for having a lot of slang called Noxious Blightbringer, um, but it's commanding Death Guard lore is a guy named Gothax the Moros, and he is renowned for ensuring that seven Blightbringers accompany him as a trudging retinue of all times. Oh, it is uh, boy. it is a entropic amount of like toxins and, and like they, they try to be as miser as make people as miserable as they can possibly be. Damn. I mean, <laughs> fighting the Death Guard, that's probably not too hard. Elsa, is that a picture of him that Chad just posted with that big crazy bell on his back? Uh, that's a Noxious Blightbringer. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. It, um, is a, uh, it is a combat specialist, which the idea is that um, they announce their presence with the tolling of the bell. 
and which with uh -huh. every slam of the bell like madness and despair are sent to the enemy foes and it like leeches their fucking like souls wow because that you know sucks <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean, understatement of the century, wow, that sucks, as madness, pestilence, zombies, and rust consume everything you've ever loved. But yeah, that that sucks. It particularly fucks up Psykers. Kind of has, like, dong in the Psykers. Like, oh my god, like, the, like being near a blank. Oh man, so even Psykers can't help you against the, death, against the Death Guard, huh? Well, I mean, to an extent they can, but, like, that guy sure. in particular is made for it. Damn. Um, the fourth <laughs> plague company is... I don't actually know the name of this one. Uh, it's Blister ruled Boy. over... We fucking wish. <laughs> is uh, ruled over a um, by a gestalt demon known as the Eater of Lives. They carry oh. the Eater Plague, also known as Drizzle Flesh, Pock Chewer, and the Endless Gift. Oh, boy. That's, they mainly that have disgustingly like disgustingly badass, though. They mainly have sorcerers and summon nurglings and stuff, like more demons. They're like a demon summoning kind of group. Oh, uh, okay. That's also pretty important. Uh, the okay. fifth plague company is known as the Poxmongers. They particularly use a lot of demon engines. Uh, so uh, their main demon engine that the Death Guard have is something called the Plague Burst Crawler. It is a uh, very weird World War One looking tank. It's kind of oh very, very bizarre. Yeah. Um uh, but it's 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 kind of cool. It's like a it's like a big rolling beetle. Ooh. <laughs> Gross. Uh, oh, oh, it's not okay. that nasty. It's like, it's just like the way it's shaped. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've I've seen those before. Yeah, it's not too strange like considering considering everything else going on in the Death Guard, that's probably the most normal artillery you're going to see question mark? uh that they, they it, it's just a big tough tank and they have a little artillery on the back yeah 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 um they also carry something called the sanguis flux disease which causes oh, no. en endless <laughs> half clotted bleeding oh that's and they nice. leave foul red black trails wherever they go right that yes. sounds that sounds about on par for the death guard yep Okay. The uh the sixth plague company is known as the Ferrymen, or also known as the Brethren of the Fly. This oh, is no. the main garrison <laughs> of their uh their fleets, their starships, their their armadas, right? Okay. Um it also has a large number of something called Blight Lord Terminators, and it has a parasite known as the droning. Which I don't really remember what the droning is in lore, but the droning is a um uh, I believe it turns off all your rerolls in game, which is actually really goddamn good. Let me. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. That would that would really fuck you up if you can't reroll against them. Yeah, Oof. I'm not. I'm actually not quite sure what the droning does in in, so, in uh, lore, but. So surely on the tabletop, anybody that plays the Death Guard must use that as much as possible. Well, I think often you you can only put it on certain characters, but the main thing ah. is that Mortarian can get uh, ch any choice of plague, and they normally pick the droning. That's fair. Ooh, um, man. And the last one is the uh, Mortarian's Chosen Sons. They are mm. plague brewers and alchemists. They uh, mm. have something called the Crawling Pustulance, also, or the Boil Blight, Lumpen Splatter, Nurgle's Fruit, etc. Gross. I it's know they're so fun. Gross. Uh, it's all very, it's all very thematic. That's that is. It, it's it's a it's very Death Guardy. They 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 do not skimp on making Death Guard like perfectly lore based with how they act. Oh yeah, they're disgusting. They are absolutely vile and horrific and. Blah. Um, what do uh Death Lord or Death Lord? Uh, what do Death Guard termies look like again? Ah, well, that's one of them. Should I just post? That's a Blight Lord Terminator. Oh, that's one of their Terminators um, with the with the no eyes and the creepy ass fucking teeth. Yep. Uh, however, Ew. the dopest one will always be the Death Shroud Terminator, which are these motherfuckers. Whoa! Oh, that's right. And they okay. I think we've talked about them in 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 the other episode because I remember talking about how disgusting it was that the tentacles were holding like the the scythe. Oh, that's yep. very badass though. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so fucking yeah, it, cool. And their their minis look incredible. 
absolutely incredible. Oh, they have these fuck. giant capes <laughs> and hoods and shit. Like, Death Stroud yep. Terminators look insanely cool. They are. That's the yeah. They're amazing. Love it. Love White Lord it. Terminators actually also look really darn good. They have this flail that's super cool looking. This like oh. enormous flail of corruption. Yeah, that middle one is 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 the dopest. I kind of love the. Uh, uh, I know you don't like anime, but it's got like super Akira vibes with like the flesh that's just like sort of oozing out of control and around all the tech. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's really cool. So yeah. the actual like ranks of Death Guard. So you, the main Death Guard person is a Death Guard Lord, right? It's a Chaos Lord. That's your number one. That's your leader. That's your all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um that's that's your big your big bad that the whole number one boy uh you also have something called the lord of contagion which is a the lord of contagion is a wearing like a cataphracti terminator armor and they kind of they're kind of like a various kind of direct strategist commander kind of dude um okay. they also have things like a lord of virulence which is a bombardment specialist that kind of stuff mm -hmm. um Death Shroud, the ones with the cool hoods, they are using Man Reapers, which are those giant scythes. <laughs> and I love the Man name. Reapers, right? <laughs> yeah. Gee, I wonder what they do with those. Uh, mm, yeah. mm, they, mm. they they kill orcs. Yeah, of course, of course. They don't they don't kill humans with those, right? There's no way. Oh God, no, no way. Man Never. Reaper, there's no way they'd kill a human with that ever. <laughs> um, these are actually hand picked by Mortarian himself. Oh. And they tend to follow him around wherever he goes. They're his personal bodyguards. Um, they okay. also bodyguard other people, lords and stuff. But if you find Mortarian, he's probably got seven of these bastards with, with him. <laughs> As if it wasn't bad enough to fight Mortarian, then you got seven of these fuckers to deal with. These dudes in, in the tabletop, I think they actually got... They were, they were, they were hit by the nerfs, I think. Um, which is unfortunate. And, like, they were nuts to fight like the death so shroud terminators were nuts what what made them so crazy to fight and what was like the big nerf well they've got three health which is what terminators all have but all death guard have toughness five because they're so much better than that yeah. all death guard have uh reducing their damage they take by one which is also insane yeah. um or it's just really good but it's just the fact that uh, they would roll up, be insanely tanky, have a ton of attacks, and also um, they would just, they just have like, like they just would hit really goddamn hard with their man reapers. They were they were good okay. at good at dealing with stuff. They had little like plague uh, spewing uh, flamer gauntlets, oh, which is fun. They have they have gauntlets that spew disease. Like they have they have thrower. They have plague flamethrowers. Uh, look at the middle guy on his left oh, hand. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see them now. Oh, that's gross. I love that. I love that, though. Yeah. That's fucking disgusting, but I love it. Yeah, they they were just like... Uh, right now, they're not as good as they used to be because codexes have kind of gotten better and better with time. But they just kind of... They, 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 they kill a lot of stuff. They're very painful. Mm. Um, but they are also really dope. Anyway, um, Blightlord Terminators are the mutated guys in that suit of cataphracti armor on the bottom. They yeah. are much more of the standard Terminators, where they, they walk forward with kami weapons, spew plague, you know, shooting down vehicles with the heavy weapons, etc., etc. They're yeah. just impossible to kill, as is most <laughs> Death Guard stuff. Yeah. You know? Okay. They're less, they're less um, specialized as the... Uh, Death Shroud, because the Death Shroud are, like, literally bodyguards. and Yeah, for the, you know, for that's the highs their and thing. the high. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the the Blight Lords are more like a regular Terminator, and therefore the things that they carry are a bit more. Well, it, it's it's like you can kind of fit them out how you'd like. Gotcha. A am I jumping the gun if I ask you what a flail of corruption does? Because it looks very cool, whatever it does, and it looks like it spews like some sort of blue mist of decay and. Blech. Well, first things first. Look at that dude smile. Oh boy. Let's really put a funny. smile on that it's, face. It starts starts violently throwing up. <laughs> um, the plague, uh, the flail of corruption is in the game. It's like a just a, a two hit rolls instead of one two damage flail. It's, it's just a good flail. Um, okay. I don't I don't think 
I don't know if the Flail of Corruption, here it is. Power kind of, uh, it's a power type weapon. Uh, let's see here. Heavy power type weapon used by the Death Lord, Light Lord Terminators. Yes, yes, yes. Um, oh, uh, any foe struck by it is hit by a large variety of varying fast acting pathogens. So those boy. things are filled with like a ton of like it's a ton of disease and they just get you hit with it. Gotcha. As if it wasn't bad enough getting bonked upside the head with a giant flail by one of these terminators. If you should survive, you just get absolutely mauled by disease. Great. Yeah. Great. It's good times. Yeah. No. Yeah, his 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 little bonky machine is covered in disease. <laughs> yep. Ugh. Um, we, I talked about the, uh, Noxious Blightbringers already to do with the bell. There is the Malignant Plague Caster, which Ooh. is a Death Guard Sorcerer that fills the air with filth, like actual black, gray, green filth. Oh. Uh, it is, they, they basically, uh, draw in lungfuls of noxious vapors from the Garden of Nurgle and then blow them out in phlegm thick clouds oh, that will boy. rot a man to the bone in a couple seconds. Damn. It is so it is it, a cloud as thick as phlegm. Wow, so it's like living in Riverside. Nice. Thanks. Nice. All right. I used to bad. live in Riverside. Yes. Yeah, in, Inland Empire can suck my ass. Yeah. Well, I, it was, I, that's, uh, that's not really the Inland Empire, but like that you're, you're getting the, is the Inland Empire basically. Is it? Yeah, I feel like sure. I feel like it's the it's the border to actually becoming it. Yeah, fair enough. I went I went to college in in San Bernardino, so uh, yeah. I I used to always tell people like you know how like when you leave your car out the the dust is like you know it's kind of grayish you know oh wash me you know uh, if you leave your car out in Riverside or San Bernardino the dust is orange. The dust is orange. That is true. It's you got so the you got the rot gross. one. You got you have the ferric blight. Yeah, we got the Ferric Blight in, in the Inland Empire. Yeah, it's it's so nasty. I have, yeah. Blech. Anyway. Um, so that's the Million Playcaster does things like that. Uh, you've got the Tally Man, which is a personal favorite of mine. Uh, he's the guy with the with the with all the scrolls and the Nurgling carrying the scrolls. Oh, that's Do you actually remember him really at all? Cool looking. I don't. I don't know how oh, I shit. forgot this guy, but wow. I got you. Here you go is oh yes 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 now i remember him okay. yeah he's gotta keep track they gotta track the ammunition they've used the diseases they've spread they got they gotta track they gotta make sure they gotta tally up the diseases they gotta they gotta get their books <laughs> why do they i i think i remember asking this but why do they care like how much it happens like why do they need to tally it up like um i think they they tally it to invoke the boon of nurgle they're like, this is how many shells we've expended, wounds we've inflicted, poisons we've added, death we've done. Oh, and, and then Nurgle's and, just like, I'm so proud of you. Here, boon. And they like they they chant to like seven, like their unholy tally, right? And when they get to seven, all of the Nurgle's faithful are like renewed and like more powerful. It's like, uh, we've done six, seven diseases. Boom, everyone gets stronger. We've <laughs> killed seven tanks. Boom, everyone gets stronger, you know, like. Oh no, now, for some reason, when you said that, and you described it like that, I can now only imagine the tallyman, uh, sort of like the Sesame Street count. Ah, uh, one disease! Two uh, disease! Uh, uh. Seven disease! Ah, ah, ah! And then everybody's just like, yeah, yeah! It literally no, says I here, as his voice echoes in their ears, so empiric power seeps into their souls. Wounds heal shut with sucking slurps. Rotten muscles oh. bulge with strength. And with the rambunctious joy of Grandfather Nurgle fills up curdled souls. Flies wow. swarm thick in buzzing clouds. And disease blossom all the faster. So, Damn. Italian man. So, so they're like uh, support casters. They, like, they kind of sort of buff you with like... Yeah, sort of... basically. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Um, there's also a guy known as the Biologist Putrefier, or Biologus Putrefier. Uh. These have an obsessive desire to test their newly concocted plague batches. They are constantly yeah. trying to find new ways to make disease and make things, and they want to try and test it. 
Oh, no. Oh, here's a quote. There is no finer laboratory than the battlefield. Such a glut of test subjects, their flesh and vitae awaiting only the touch of Nurgle's gifts to flourish into new and magnificent... The hell is this word? Fucundity? Fucundity? F-U-C-U-N-D-I-T-Y. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the first that time I've heard that word. Yeah. I mean, With I guess every I... jab of the needle, every crisp shattering of the alem alembic, what the? their blessed <laughs> suffering brings my concoctions closer to perfection. What the fuck does this yeah. mean? Fe well, that's, what, that's what Google's for, man. Fe fe fecundity? Sure. Uh, the ability to produce an abundance of offspring or new growth. Fertility. Oh, that sounds that. Oh, yep. That that's sounds, gross. Uh, yep. Yep. That's nasty. Mm -hmm. There's alembic as well. Alembic, a distilling apparatus now obsolete, consisting of a rounded necked flask and a cap with a long beak for condensing and conveying the products to a receiver. Oh, so it's like a the, ah like the 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 flask. jab of the needle, the crisp shattering of the alembic, the flask. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, that makes more sense. Um, <laughs> makes way more sense now. Yeah. Besides that, uh, and all those different kinds of units and the like. There's a couple uh, interesting weapons that they have that are kind of fun. Okay. Um, Nurgle's Rot is, of course, the obvious one. That's just Nurgle's, it's Nurgle's Rot. You know that one. Sure. sure. Um, the Man Reaper, the Scythe, mm -hmm. is a, a powerful demon weapon. It's carried by, you know, Typhus as well as the others. It is a large power scythe, um, enabling a warrior to face many times their number in battle and kind of, you know, cut them down, like reaping, mm -hmm. you know, reaping the fields and stuff. Is is um, there anything special about it, or is it just like a big scythe? It is covered a in a corrosive scythe? poison. Ah, of course. I mean, it, it is is it it is a death guard weapon, so I suppose it should be. That's fair. A lot but other of the than knives, that, it's just a big scythe. It's not. It's there's a, nothing. Well, it's a power scythe, to be fair. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because it, which is like you know, power swords like the crackling energy and stuff. This just has corrosive shit on it. Okay. Um. There's also the plague knife. Uh, which is the knife you always see that looks really crappy. Mm -hmm. um, it is basically just a big, broad trench dagger, and it is completely corrupted by, well, oh, well, well, sorry, it was like a, a regular uh, like dagger, a Stardis thing that was corrupted along with the Death Guard when they were corrupted. The blades also transformed, so they're completely corroded with like rust and disease, just covering the entire thing. Ugh. So, and I'm, I'm assuming it's still super sharp, and if you get stabbed with it, you get just absolutely fucking destroyed by plague and disease and rot. Yeah, one swipe is all it really needs, and then after that, you're you're literally like you just you're just poisoned. Yikes! Scarlet rot. <laughs> Scarlet rot. <laughs> I see. So they're all uh, they're all Melania. Okay. Good to know. They're uh. The, the, where it turns out the Death Guard homeworld is just Kaled. Yeah, they would. They would love Kaled. Fuck Kaled too, by the way. F fuck. Yeah. Fuck Kaled. Ohio. <laughs> Cleveland. Literally, Kaled is literally Cleveland, Ohio. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, there's obviously the Destroyer Hive, which is that giant thing on the back of Typhus with the plague-infested mm -hmm. flies. Uh, but one fun funky ass one is the Blight Grenade. The oh, Blight no. Grenade is also known as a Death Head Grenade. And they are made by the heads of the enemies killed by Nurgle. And with sorcerers, oh. the severed head is then covered in a waxy organic slime and contaminated blood until it is watertight. The oh, no. brain cavity is then filled up with pus and left to fester, becoming a poisonous gas. Oh, and then God. when thrown, it will then burst on impact and release this deadly vapor. Oh, so they are God. they are airtight heads filled with noxious pus that they throw at you. Oh my God, that's so fucking gross. It's pretty Holy cool. Holy shit. Holy shit. Um... Yeah, that's a lot, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. That's, that's a lot, man. <laughs> Holy shit. It's something. Um, 
Yeah, I think I think that gets DK's honorary Jesus of the episode. Oh, it's it's that's like so nasty. It's like how could we make how could we make the horrors? Oh wow, Lois, man made horrors beyond my comprehension. <laughs> Oh God! They take ah, oh, that's so gross. I mm, I hate it. I love Me it too. because it's so gross, but I hate it. I hate it too, but God damn it, is it cool? Mm, agreed. <laughs> in all in all the in all the horrible horrible ways. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to fight the Death Guard? All the shits going around, and then just this head just plop and oh, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't even. Um, that's, uh, we're, we're getting, we're getting close to the end here in terms of just, uh, random, like, Death guard shit they do, but there's a couple funny artifacts that I like. Um, okay. one of them is known as the Dolorous Knell, which is a gigantic bell, painful to the ear, and it says, almost, intru almost intrusive, as its foul sounds push the sicking notes into the minds of those nearby. And each toll registers as a dull clank on the data harvest of recording devices, such as things called vid thief skulls, which is it, it's very confusing. But but basically, like this thing bing bing bongs bings at you, and, mm -hmm. and all of your like bravery and power and for the emperor, it, ju it just goes away. <laughs> wow, it's that like, sucks. You like ding dong ding dong. You are now a pussy. <laughs> Damn. So it's just my uh, it's just my internal monologue all day long. Except with loud bell noises. Yeah. Oh great. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. There's also a slang known as the uh, the pandemic staff, which is a rune oh, engraved boy. artifact with a uh, mold moldering with a visible miasma around it. And is that every what we're getting hit with now in, in 2020, 2022? Is that what we're getting hit with? The pandemic staff? Yeah, it just kind of bonks on you and you just die. Yeah, yeah. That sounds about um, right. It is, uh, this one, every single dent or hole in it harbors some deadly strain of pathogen, like an old, tired, and proven one of Nurgle's personal favorites. <laughs> so, collectively, this staff has seen the lives of trillions dead. Reduced Whoa. to just going to Grandfather Nurgle's garden. And if you wave it around expansively, it can create a tide of hypertoxic fluids. Oh. It is, it is gross. Oh, that's... Ah, uh, boy. That, man, Death Guard stuff is disgusting. I don't know if you've heard lately, viewers, but Death Guard stuff is fucking gross. Oh, uh, you want you want one more particularly nasty one? Hell yeah! All right, this is the pus cleaver. Oh um, no! What a name! It is a large plague knife, more so like a machete, but it has an infamous gurgling doom contagion. Oh, so no. one strike from the blade will not they all, they will have to deal with the fact that they're getting struck by a blade for one because it's still quite yeah. sharp. Mm -hmm. But the wound will become so infected, it'll balloon to a swollen mess in a few seconds. Oh. And then afterwards, the individual will keel over, gurgling and, and drowning in phlegm in their own throat until they finally keel over and die. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. That's so fucking gross. Uh, they do be pussing, though. That is oh. the worst thing you could have said. <laughs> That is the worst thing you could have said. <laughs> that that boil, it do be pussing though. That's I, you know. You... <laughs> this is why Listen... I stick with this is why I stick with Among Us because at least it doesn't do shit like this. <laughs> that that boil is very sus. Or I it's guess very, it's very, more pus. very pus. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, oh, God. hey, look at us go. Throw that hey. ass in a circle, Mortarian. <laughs> da, 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 da. Also, I forgot to mention, Mort yeah, Mortarian's uh, gigantic man reaper scythe is known as Silence because he's an edgy fuck. Oh, it's is it any more stronger than the uh, normal uh, man reapers? Oh, yeah, it's Mortarian's. 
Okay, so it's like like it's it's a it's actually a better scythe. It's not just a larger scaled one because he's a demon prince. Oh yeah, I mean everything Mortarian does is just straight up stronger. Okay, cool. Because he's Mortarian, because you know he's the biggest baddest son of a bitch. He's so cool. He is very very cool. With his fucking gas mask and his shroud and his hood and his giant plague wings. He's so cool. He's a he, he he's a he's a bad man. He's a, he, he. We would say that he is uh is is pretty evil. <laughs> no kidding. No Demon. kidding. <laughs> no. He kidding. smells like shit. I mean, saying he smells like shit is probably a compliment. He probably smells so. He probably smells like festering, rotting corpses and raw sewage. He smells like death. Yeah. Yeah. Gross. Oh. God, they're all so disgusting, though. I uh, I love I love how hard they've gone with the the sheer like disgust of uh, of the Death Guards. Yeah, uh, I, I I I do you think they go the hardest out of any Chaos faction? Like to their theme, they probably go the hardest, right? Well, like, they, they also... really lean into it. They also have had the blessing of, of Nurgle, but also the blessing of having, like, their own codex dedicated to them and a lot of effort put into their lore more so. Like, Thousand mm. Suns go pretty hard, too, when you think about it. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I think just, like, I think in particular they've done a really good job at making the whole making the whole Death Guard environment, the whole Death Guard field, be just really over the top and, and really gross. And they've, they've, they've sold the theme quite well. Maybe they don't go the hardest, but they definitely uh, they definitely are some of the better written, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, also, Shy is uh, good to remind me. I always forget this. Yeah, the mentality of the Death Guard, like the Death Guard themselves, are generally pretty happy and and, oh. leg and legitimate. Like a lot of them are not brooding assholes like Mortarian is. Mm -hmm. They a lot of them genuinely are like Grandpa Nurgle is fucking great. Like, you don't understand. He is so good. You should be a part of this. And to the point where they, like, they don't, they kind of forget what pain is. Huh. So, yeah, so I, like, I, if you're getting invaded, they're like, dude, stop resisting. Like, I'm helping you. What the hell? Wow. So, so I mean, if you had to be, uh indoctrinated into a, a chaos faction maybe it wouldn't be so terrible with nurgle uh depends how you can handle the opening because i feel like you you still you still have to rot and and all that stuff first before you can just be a nice happy go-getter um <laughs> but there's also slanoosh that tall glass of slanoosh oh yeah it's, it's hard for me to pass up that tall glass of slanoosh you're right yeah, so there's there is that one, and you know they're having a good time too. Mm. Uh, Shy just hit you with a quote. Oh, did she? Yeah, uh, she let's just see. hit you with a quote. Uh, you cower from Nurgle's gifts, revolted by his touch. Fear not, Nurgle forgives your ignorance, for he is a generous god and will bless you all the same. Soon your fear will melt away before the plague lord's generosity, and with blinded eyes you will see the glorious truth. Lord Lurgarius during the boarding of the frigate Noble Blame. Yeah, he, they, they literally think that you are straight up, like, wrong. Wow. That, that you have the wrong idea and they are genuinely saving you. Yeah, fear won't be the only thing of yours that melts away before the uh, Plague Lord, that's for sure. Your eyeballs. And your skin. Yeah. Yes. And your, and your, yeah. and your, and your, your lips and your gums and your feet. And we can't yep. lose those. No, what would Doge Van Dyer do if we lost our feet? Ah, come on. He got it. Be, uh, yeah, we like. Can you? It's like, a deal breaker, Nurgle. It's a deal breaker. It's a Doge isn't gonna take this. That feet, they smell too bad. Mm-hmm. Yep. Agreed. Yep. <laughs> I think I think Nurgle would absolutely be in the feet, though. Yeah. But, but but like like the Quentin Tarantino feet, like the fucking oh, once upon oh. a time the Holly, Hollywood feet, like the hippie girls and shit. There, oh god, it's awful. Oh, it's he'd, so he'd be into that kind of feet. Yeah, he probably would. Oh, <laughs> what a guy.
<laughs> what a guy. What a guy. Uh, what a guy. Jesus Christ. Can we what go home guy. now? <laughs> yeah, we can go home can now. Can we go home now, Dad? We, I hate the, the, it here. Uh, the, I, I want off Mr. Bricky's wild ride. <laughs> yeah, I want to go home. I don't uh, like DK, it. DK, the ride never ends. Oh, God. This, this is Warhammer. Never ends. That's this true. is Warhammer, Something buddy. will come around. The ride uh, never ends. Hooray! Yay! Yay! Anyway, that's that's it. It's time to take us home. DK? Yeah. What are your thoughts on foot fungus? Uh.